Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibsy the Seven here again, and welcome to another RuneScape 3 video here today on RuneScape's latest skill, Archaeology. Here in this video, we are going to be doing another mystery guide, and this is going to be for the final mystery at the uh, in, at the Stormguard Citadel called Howl's Floating Workshop. And in order to complete this mystery, you're going to have to have completed the Leap of Faith mystery and the Wing Out mystery, which I will leave links in the description for the guides on those. And you will also need at least level 95 archaeology to complete this one. So yeah, in, and in order to complete it, you're going to need a Stormguard uh, Gerige or Gerige, whatever it is, um, restored, and this is level 95 archaeology required. And once we get it in here, I'll show you on the map where you can get that. So in order to get the Stormguard Gerige, you can actually get it from one of the special researches here at the Stormguard Citadel, uh, the level 95 one, or you can get it here at the Dayguard Tower excavation site at level 95. So either way, um, I will leave a link in the description to my guide on the special research for here as well if you want to look for it in that uh, way but yeah uh, that's what you're going to need and we're going to head over to what we need to do now basically the whole objective of this um, of this mystery is to get up there up above the rest of the Stormguard Citadel and uh, if you try to go up which is done by using that large blue rock right there in the middle of the area you'll say that you can't you can't get up because of the uh, the same sort of force that was preventing you from using the portal originally and that's why you need this thing because originally you used I don't know the name I think Icovian Jerige to get up here so you needed another one to get up to this other place but first you need additional wingsuit attachments to get it so um, first one I guess starting from here it'll be a bit easier to start off with the northwest so from there you want to fly all the way to the northwest and land up on this island up here and uh, basically what you're looking for are the two uh, I think they're called Gravitron Repulsor and uh, that will allow you to fly up above to the uh, to the workshop pretty much Howell's floating workshop basically Howell is a guy who's like an inventor type person I think one of the pages of lore has a bit, a bit of stuff about him he like invented stuff for the uh, the avian season and armadillo and stuff like that but uh, yeah coming up around here you'll see right here you can pick up the gravitron repulsor right here on this box and it's a it's a wingsuit upgrade gives off some sort of force so you 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 I guess you are naming it a gravitron repulsor so yeah you can pick that up and you have it now attached to your wingsuit and now you actually want to head all the way to the opposite uh, side pretty much so all the way to the southeast and that will be where the other one is and that's pretty much where you also can get this thing the uh, this storm guard carriage I really would love to know how you say that I've never even seen that word before so I'm just guessing on how to say it um, also cool little thing you can actually surge while you are uh, while you are in midair, which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, and it actually doesn't look ridiculous, like you don't turn into, uh, you know, you don't look like you're still standing, you still keep the wingsuit form, uh, which is nice. But uh, yeah, th this right here is what you use to get up, actually, like if you try to use that right now, or actually, I don't think you can try to use it until you get the other repulsor. But if you try to use it without the without the this thing, then you will um, you will not be able to because you'll say about the force is uh, is weird. Also, if you never came over there, um, the famine is actually standing right there. Uh, you can talk to her if you go there from the other side, but she doesn't have anything interesting to say as far as I've found out yet. But um, interesting that they put her here because she's another one of the, the horsemen people but yeah after you've landed on the very far southeast island this is where the debris is for the Jirige thing and then you can pick up the Gravitron Repulsor right here and uh, attach it to your wingsuit. Now you are ready to bounce off the gravitational core I guess that's what your character says about it um, and that that's pretty much what it is is like the the whole reason you can even fly in this area is because of this gravitational core thing that 
allows you to do so and that's why you can't fly in like you know anywhere you want now that you have this wingsuit um, also you can see you have the Gravitron Repulsor I think because of these blue tips on your wings I don't think those were there before but uh, you know try not to lampoon me too hard if it's uh, if I'm wrong about that but once you have all of that the two Gravitron Repulsor pieces and the Storm Guard item you just come over here interact with the gravitational core and you will uh, You'll, it'll ask you to add it to your tool belt, so I'll, you'll go ahead and do so. And then you interact, and you'll just fly straight up and be up here in the workshop area. Uh, and this area is not really all that interesting. There's not a whole lot to see. There's a quintessence material cache and, uh, you know, one down there as well. Um, I've looked around, but there's not really a whole lot of stuff. So when, to do the mystery, you want to come south across these uh, these pillars or whatever. And then there's this workbench right here, the study. You can study the drafting bench. So you're going to want to study that, and you'll get a piece of special research. So do that. You can also search it, and you will get um, some of the blueprints. Sir, oh. Uh, search through the blueprint, you get 50 of the uh, the torn blueprints and there's also a special research here on the wall for the theoretical blueprints if you want to study that so uh, once you've done that and gotten the back to the drawing board research you want to leave head over back to the archaeology guild and you basically just need to do that special research so I can't currently do it because I have a research out right now but um, it's pretty simple. All you do is send out that special research and then you uh, just go back up to the, the workbench and click it and you'll have solved the mystery. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It is called Back to the Drawing Board, 40 minutes, 313 chronotes, and you get 50 torn blueprints as well as a prototype god sword and 20k archaeology XP for completing it. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I'm not going to show, I don't think, because... You know, I'm just, I'm going to do it, but I don't, you know, I feel like waiting an extra hour to, you know, just upload this video because it's pretty much, that's all you do. You send out the research. Once it comes back, you claim it, and then you head back there and just go back up and click on the bench again to solve the mystery. So yeah, that would, that'll be all these mysteries solved at the Stormguard Citadel. Um, I hope these guides have been helping you guys out. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, I'm going to continue making them as I get more mysteries unlocked. I am currently level 100 archaeology, so hopefully I'm, I think I'm going to be getting some more mysteries pretty soon here as uh, I am currently going to be training at Caradet. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to continuing to get more mysteries. So I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you missed it, I uploaded a Hardcore Iron Man episode just uh, yesterday where I uh, got myself this nice 99 archaeology cape and uh, I did a little bit of other stuff as well, a couple Tetra Compass loots. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one and um, peace out.